now then, I've just got back from my exercise at this gym after having ridden over this hill, looking at that bay, after having walked along this pier. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to put a little forethought into these stupid little segments. Anyway, so exercise, <clears throat> keeping early death at bay. Some of you might be thinking it's a bit too late for an early death for you, Timmy boy, but I'm, nonetheless, I'm trying my best. Car ferry, Samui. Watch this clip. Now then, <clears throat> here we are at the pier on um, Koh Samui. We're going back. Where are we going, darling? Go <laughs> home. We're going home to, home to Rawai in Phuket. That's a cute boat in the background. That's not the one we're going on. We're going on something that looks probably more like that thing over there. Anyway, great. Two days in Samui. Good to be back. Darling, you like Samui or Phuket? Which is better? Phuket. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is not sponsored by the uh, Samui Tourist Board. Okay, that's us coming home from Samui. Great trip, just to see Dale and April, our friends in, in Samui. They're American, they're lovely people. We went over for a couple of days and we survived the ferry crossing. I say survived because I googled, when the storm hit before we left, I googled ferry disasters Samui. Yeah. Quite a few, as it happens, in the, all in the last three years. People died. The last one, the most recent one, was actually just after we came back, a nighttime crossing. The ferry broke down in the middle of the Andaman Sea, shark infested, I'm assuming, waters. And it broke down, all the electric went, darkness, people were crying and screaming. A, another boat was sent out, ship, ferry. Took them two hours to get there. They attached a couple of ropes to the ferry. This is, again, pitch black, 500 screaming people on board. And they start to tow the ship back to wherever it was, Donsack. After an hour, the ropes broke. Eh? The ropes broke. I never you imagine. Everybody's going, ah! So, the answer is, I will never get that ferry again. And if Dale and April are watching this, I'll have to sell a kidney and charter a helicopter before I fly to Samui. So you have to come here and see us next time. So that's death. Death on the open sea. Snakes. Samuel L. Jackson said it best. Something about snakes on a something-something plane. We have a very high Christian evangelical uh, audience, so I can't say motherfucker. But anyway, motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. <clears throat> Samuel L. Jackson. The L stands for livid. That's a true thing. Anyway, snakes. Look at this story. A snake the size of, I don't know, that big one in Anaconda or whatever, was dragged out of a toilet in Phuket, not 10 miles away from us. Look at this picture. That's not some kind of, it's not a tiny snake. So that day, I've read that news item. We get on the road, on the little driveway out here. Tiger's looking at something. I'm thinking, Tiger, what, what are you doing? She's looking at a snake. There's a snake on our drive. Probably, you know, if you unraveled it, maybe two feet, but it's coiled and it's... It's in the, you know, attack position, whatever, whatever that is for snakes. And I went, oh, shit. So I had to try and drag Tiger away at arm's length. <clears throat> the snake turned in my direction and went to, uh, well, that's what I, I'm pretty sure it meant to do that anyway. So snakes, uh, no. Spiders, scorpions, anyway, escaping death at every turn. That's what I'm saying, which is why I was at the gym this morning. Thank you. See you all next time. Timmy, what are you doing taking video in a petrol station in the rain? Well, I'll tell you why. Because of this. Because of this giant thing. I'm not sure what that is, but I like it. All right, I, I know it's a transformer. You know, I'm not an idiot. Or am I? So, because the ferry's been delayed by two hours, we've pulled off uh, at the side of the road. How many times have you... Yes, we might arrive on Koh Samui late, but you know, Timmy's having a beer. You might be driving on Samui, by the way. A couple of days ago when we came, when it was storm force, gale, choppy seas, it had death and catastrophe written all over it. Believe me, I'd already Googled ferry disasters from Koh, Phuket, Koh Samui, rather. So I'd already worked myself up into a panicky leathery, leathery panic. I'd already worked myself up into a leathery panic. He walks like a model. Look at the legs. Yeah, all right. No more. No more Japan. Just, I'm just catching you. I'm just getting you walking. I'm pretty sure this is not hygienic. Their ass is right over the door. What the fuck? What? Nothing. Mm. Utter contempt. She might as well shit on our food. <laughs>